So, you're a competitor and you're wondering how to defeat Dali. Not a problem. When it comes to our generation, Dali has three major strengths. The first is the commercial license that gives you full rights to use and sell whatever you make for any project you need. This is probably the most important non-technical advantage it has. Frankly put, Dali has set the standard in a way that if you do not make the commercial license free and included by default, it doesn't matter how good your software is, everything is worthless for all professional artists without a built-in commercial license to your generations. Dali the second major strength is the sheer quality and flexibility of its image generating capabilities. I'll talk more in detail about this when we directly compare Dolly to other software like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, but in short, Dolly is capable of understanding much more sophisticated subject, object, background, and prop relationship than most other AIs out there. The third and final strength is the pricing. By default, you get 15 free credits every month, which gives you four images each totaling to 60 free images every month. This makes it accessible and affordable to everyone which is extremely important for gaining popularity worldwide. Once Dolly is complete and the beta is over, anyone from any country can use it for free each month no matter their income or financial situation. Accessibility equals larger target audience. Larger audience means more popularity, which ultimately is the key to advertisement, which is the key to expanding and growing your user base. Overall, Dolly is a formidable AI, and defeating it won't be easy, but let's just say you're a developer for Google Party. What should you do in order to replace Dolly as the dominant AI? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. In Google's case, it already looks like the quality is more detailed and sophisticated. We can tell this because even in its incomplete state, the AI has already demonstrated the ability to generate real words. Anyone who's used Dolly for a few minutes has quickly realized that it doesn't understand the proper spelling of words, and will usually give you gibberish. This does not seem to be a weakness that Google has, and the image quality also seems to be around the same level if not more. So Google has more than likely already defeated Dolly in the first arena of quality. Next is the pricing. At a minimum, any competitor will have to follow the same model of giving freebies each month or week. The easiest way would be to provide the same service in greater amounts. For example, maybe Google could also give you 15 credits each month, but instead of 4 images per search, you get 9 like in crayon. Alternatively, you could also generate four images, but just offer 30 credits for free instead of 15 each month. Another thing that Dolly is currently lacking that Midjourney has already started to take advantage of is the limitless access for a monthly subscription. Midjourney allows you unlimited use in generations for $30 a month. And right now, that's a big reason to use Midjourney over Dolly. Since Dolly has no such option, there are multiple ways to defeat Dolly in the pricing arena. So that takes care of two out of three strengths. The final arena is probably the most important important, the licensing. It does not matter how good your software is without the commercial license and the ownership of your generations. Google has to do that or else it will virtually be impossible to convince any Dolly user to switch to Google. But Dolly's biggest weakness is its policies. As I've demonstrated in the last video, the policies are ridiculous. There is no transparency, people are getting banned left and right out of nowhere by accident, and the type of images you're allowed to generate keep getting more and more strict and with less and less quality. As a result so far, Dolly is not for a professional artist. It is for kids. Like, here's an honest question for all you professional artists right now. What would happen if you walked up to your boss and told him, okay, I can make any art you need as long as the story doesn't include violence, blood, gore, nudity, sex, war, politics, weapons, guns, swords, knives, thick thighs, beautiful busty women, dark wizard snipers, and Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, how well would that fly with your company? Don't answer, I already know. You wouldn't be allowed to make any of the beautiful historical ancient statues of India, shirtless hieroglyphic art of the Egyptian gods, the incredible work of Michelangelo's statue of David, all the beautiful women painted by Picasso, all of the art created during the Crusades. Just about the vast majority of most of the incredible art in the world would be banned under Dolly's current policy. Right now, Dolly is clearly trying to control the type of art that its audience wants to generate, but that is simply a losing battle. On top of not being possible, and people all always finding loopholes, the more it cracks down on policy, the worse the software gets. And at some point, once the competition gets close to the level of quality in DALI, all they have to do is offer the same exact service with no policy restrictions and it's game over from there. Honestly, the first AI generator that approaches DALI quality and allows you to just generate your own porn will be the last art AI ever created. Because from that point on, they will have so much money coming in that they will have virtually 
unlimited funding to hire the best minds in the world to improve and generate the highest quality images. So Google, if I were you, here is what I would do. Offer the same free commercial license. Make sure your quality is equal or better. Give freebies each month and offer people unlimited searches with an optional paid monthly subscription like Midjourney. And do not have idiotic policies that kill your AI and user experience. The same way McDonald's is not responsible if I decide to kill someone with one of their hamburgers, you are not responsible for bad actors using your software inappropriately. It's not wrong, it's just not possible. So that would be my advice to really any AI trying to compete with Dali. I hope that helps, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.